everybody welcome to everyday journey for those who don't know I have a 301 piece toolkit mechanics toolkit from Harbor Freight um, because of that because of how much I like that I got this this is the 225 piece toolkit well I've already got the other one what do I need this one for well I actually got this one for a, uh, a friend of mine and uh, before he gets it, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see everything that's in here. Why did I get this one? Well, the other one has just about everything you would need. Thing is, he doesn't need that much. He needs the lighter version, the one that will just about get the job done um, with just about anything you'd want to do, except for something that's a little bit easier to carry around, something that's a little more portable, um, but has everything that you would need in it. Um, this one here, well the other one was like 46 pounds. This one right here is like 27 pounds. When you're carrying something around, this one's a lot easier to carry around. I, I've already noticed the difference just carrying it into the garage. So um, let's go over real quick what's in here. Alright, so here's the case. Just slid off the, uh, the cover. Just like the other one. This has got locking hinges. These are adding to the weight of it, or helping with the weight of it, and they're, uh, they're plastic hinges here, um, but they are actually hinging. So they won't wear out right here and uh, eventually break, which is a problem that I've had with one of mine. Um, well, with one of my other tool sets. The, uh, and what I mean by that is, right here on the side, a secondary lock here to help keep it closed. You can see there it's just there, there's no actual hinge there. Um, this is kind of a downfall somewhat um, only that you don't actually have to really open that all the way so you don't have to worry about it breaking as, as quickly. Um, but the main hinges they're, they're gonna hold up just fine. So let's open this up and, uh, and I'll read off to you what exactly it says. So, Alright so we open this up and this is what we get. This right here, you may say, oh, let's go ahead and toss this. Um, this little foam here, this foam cushion. Go ahead and keep that, though. If you ever have to use your tools, especially if you're outside and it's a little windy, take this, put it aside, put something heavier on top of it so it doesn't blow away. Um, because you will need this. Whenever this closes up, this will help keep the, uh, all these sockets down here that aren't actually clipped in. It's going to keep those in place. Or at least help keep those in place. So you're not always having to just deal with a big jumble of tools. But anyway, we put this to the side, and, uh, and as you can see, here's what we got. On the box itself, it says fully polished chrome vanium steel socket and ratchet set. With 113 sockets, as you can see, there's a ton of them. Uh, two spark plug sockets, which are right up here. The uh, three universal joints, these right here. And the quarter, the three eighths, and the half inch drive, 72 tooth ratchets with TPR grips this grip here. Um, it's got 10 chrome vanadium fully polished combination wrenches up, up here. Got one adjustable wrench. Got diagonal cutters. Got long nose pliers. It says it's got a screwdriver here to handle with uh, 42 screwdriver bits. Um, Torx nut driver bits up here. And uh, 24 short arm hex keys and 18 long reach hex keys. So, like I said, this has got just about everything you need. Um, now, one of the things you will notice here is that it is in a blown mold case. It's not that big of a deal, just blown mold plastic. But the thing is, if you're missing a tool, you know you can see right there it's gone. It's labeled, tells you exactly what's supposed to be there. So you can look around and make sure that you keep this whole complete set intact. So, looking through here, we got, what is this? This is half inch drive sockets, deep well sockets. This is half inch to, well, let's see, half inch to three quarter, and then 14 millimeter to 19 millimeter. Then you go with the three eighths drive, you got five sixteenths up to five eighths, then you got 10 millimeter 
up to 17 millimeter. These are all the deep well sockets. You've also got quarter inch drive deep well sockets right up here. This is 3 16 goes up to 7 16 and then you got the metric here, 12 millimeter, well, 5 millimeter up to 12 millimeter. More deep well sockets. Those things are great whenever you need them. Um, then you got the, all the regular sockets. These are, I mean, looking at every single one of these, uh, most of them are the six point sockets. Do have a few right up here. These are 12 point sockets. And uh, so you, you don't have to worry as much about things stripping. So right here we got the your, you got your universal joints. Um, I mean this is a half inch universal joints. You need to get in a tight corner place. I mean those are going to help you out going down to quarter. I don't even you know how many times I've actually had to use one of those and uh, and couldn't find anything. The only thing I've ever had was these uh, these three eighths drive ones and uh, and they're great but I hate having to put an adapter on it and everything else but you need the adapters well there you go I mean this right here is dropping it down from 3 8 to quarter inch and then we got the half inch to 3 8 right there uh, these socket they're these wrenches right here I was checking these things out in the store and uh, 72 teeth I mean these things are great it's got the nice comfortable handle on it I mean that right there goes a long way whenever you're trying to actually really tighten down on something to have a comfortable handle because it will eventually especially if you're doing it a lot and I do that a lot at work um, that'll start to to wear on you so up here let's see go ahead and scoot this forward up here we've got all the uh, all the nut drivers that was it got quarter inch all the way up to seven sixteenths and then we've got five millimeter up to 11 millimeter so you can see right there those things are great you can pull one of those out if you needed to put them in a driver um, and now you can actually use that in a, in a small little impact driver so those are great looking at the uh, the cutters here these things everything meets right where it should you can see right here, you close it up, everything meets right where it should, which means it's going to actually cut exactly the way you need it to. They're a little tight right now, which is great, but they do loosen up. Um, you can, and right there, it already loosened up quite a bit. So I would have no problem using those. The, uh, the needle nose pliers, everything meets up nice and flush like it's supposed to there. These are uh, just like they should be. Like I said, a little bit tight, but the first time you use them, they loosen up. So that's great. And you got all these bits here. You got your Torx bits, you got your, uh, your Phillips bits, your flathead bits. If you needed to, you could even use your socket adapter right here to be able to put a socket right on the end of the driver, the screwdriver. Here's all your torque bits. You got several of those. <laughs> and, uh, and then you've got your Allen or your hex key. Your hex key, and you got your square drive. Um, you know, all the different sizes you would need, or most of the sizes you would ever need. <clears throat> and then inside here, this little plastic sleeve or plastic uh, deal, we've got our all of our Allen wrenches. And you can see right there, there's tons of them. And here's all the short ones. So, I mean, that's a lot. Those things are, uh, those things really come in handy. So, on my other video, people were asking about the wrenches. And yes, the wrenches are... Uh, there's not a lot of them, but the thing is, you don't need a lot of them most of the time. Most of the time the sockets are going to do you just fine. Um, but you do have 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter, 16 millimeter. Over here, the SAE, 
We've got 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 and 5 8 That covers almost everything. Um, most everything you would need, especially if this was in a boat, an RV, or in, a, uh, in your car, and you needed it on the spot. You know, this is, this is pretty much going to take care of just about every need you would, you would have. Um, and anything more than that, you'd probably be back at your own garage or taking the thing to a shop anyway. So, um, this thing has got tons of tools in it. And I think, price-wise, uh, I think this one right here, I think Harbor Freight has it, a lot of times has it on sale for like 99 bucks. This is a great toolkit for 99 bucks. Um, I've not had any issues with the other toolkit that I have. Um, the only one thing that I can see right here that's any different um, is instead of having separate screwdrivers all together, it's got this one screwdriver and then a whole bunch of bits to go with it. Which in a lot of cases is really good because, well, you're saving a lot of, of I mean, there's a lot of the weight right there. Um, the other difference is that these ratchets, I mean, these things are, they're good ratchets. Listen to that, 72 teeth. And uh, the other ones that I had, they're all metal. This right here has got the nice comfort grip. And uh, so that's one of the few differences I can see. Um, there are a few other things missing out of here. I mean, obviously, the other one is, is 301. This is 225. So you're getting just about 75 pieces less, but you're paying less, you're having to carry less, um, but you just about have everything you would need overall. So just so everybody knows, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the sockets, the main sockets here. We got our half inch drive sockets. Looks like we're going from 3 8 all the way up to 5, 15 16 You got your metric is going from 10 mil all the way up to 24 mil. The, uh, then we go into our 3 8 drive and uh, let's scoot this so you can see it. We've got quarter inch all the way up to 3 quarters and then we go down here to 10 mil and up to 19 mil. So then we go to our quarter inch drive, which is down here at the bottom, and looks like we're going from 5.30 seconds, and that's the 12, 12 point, and then also 5.30 seconds and the 6 point, up to, see what that says, half inch in both. Then we got the metric, goes from 4 millimeter up to 13 millimeter. So that's the quarter inch drive ones. We got a quarter inch drive. Let me pry that out of here. Quarter inch drive, and this is actually pretty neat. Look at that extension. Kind of a stubby extension. Yeah, it would be nice to have something longer sometimes, but it would also be nice to have something shorter like that. I don't even have one of those in my other toolkit. Um, got your half inch drive one. Again, it's, or I mean, sorry, 3 8 drive one. And then we've got a longer 3 8 drive one. And then we've got our half inch drive extension also. So if need be you could always use the half inch drive, put an adapter on it, and get it out of here and uh, and then go I mean you could just connect these up and just keep going with it. You know put this one on here, put the other adapter on. I mean yeah you're never gonna do this but if you needed to, there you go. There's your really long extension. So now we got to put them all back. But there's a place for it all. So so you know if you're missing it, you just keep putting them in until it's all full. Alright guys, there we go. 225 piece toolkit, mechanics toolkit. Um, I think he's going to really like it. Um, I know I really like it. If I didn't already have my other one, I'd really like this one too. Um, it's got just about everything we could want in a smaller package. So 
it's not as not not as big, not as bulky, and uh, and still would probably well, I'm pretty sure would get the job done because so far I've used my other one to do brake work. Um, I've worked on my lawnmowers with it. Um, <laughs> I've used some of the I've used the torque bit. You can see that video um, in an impact gun to uh, to break loose something from my drill. So these things are definitely worth their money. Could you get better? Maybe, but they have a lifetime warranty and Harbor Freight as long as you got one near you they're really good about you know just take it in show them the broken tool and go ahead and replace it so it's not been an issue whatsoever I've heard of lots of people that have done it and uh, they're completely happy with it so if you do have a failure it's probably just a one-time thing um, take it in there get your replacement keep driving on so you try that with one of the uh, you know one of the name brand stores that most of them are shut down so where are you gonna take it to so anyway I uh, hope you guys really like this I know I really like this um, in some cases <laughs> I would I hate to kinda give it away but um, I think you'll really like it too and uh, I've already got my other one so if you guys uh, got any questions send them my way um, got any comments send those my way also try to keep it clean if you can um, I know some people they definitely have their uh, their opinions and uh, well I, I, I appreciate the fact that you do have an opinion if it's not a clean one I prefer that you kept it to yourself and I'm sure everyone else would too um, but anyway you guys take care and uh, thanks for watching